The Swedish shipbuilder Karlskron of Arvik built seven Landsort class minesweepers for the Swedish Navy. The first of the class, Landsort, M. 71, entered service between 1984 and 1992. The design of the vessel includes many features that are important for mine action, a strong hull capable of withstanding an underwater explosion, low noise level, and reduced magnetic interference. The housing is made of reinforced plastic, an inexpensive, durable and vibration-absorbing material. The main 40mm cannon of the ship is located in the bow. The radius of destruction of the cannon shells is more than 12 kilometers. The rate of fire is 240 rounds per minute. On the sides are two 7. 62 mm machine guns. The ship has a depth charge system. Bombs are thrown within a radius of up to 350 meters and carry a 4. 2 kg heat projectile capable of penetrating the armor of any submarine. Subscribe to the channel, it will be more interesting. Thank you in advance. Landsort is equipped with devices for mine sweeping. Mine search sonar, located in the bow, is used to locate and classify mines. In addition to the mine sonar, the Thomson Marconi TSM 2022 acoustic sonar is mounted on the ship to search for submarines, the locator operates in a range of up to 2 kilometers. Displacement 360 tons. Complete. Dimensions length 47. 5M, width 9. 6M, draft 2. 2M. Power plant 2 shaft diesel, for Saab Scania DS114 engines, with a capacity of 1592 horsepower. Travel speed 15 knots. Armament Manpads Company, Saab, ZAK, C Trinity, of the company, Beforo, Vinga, or 40mm single gun AU, Bofors, on other ships, 27. 62mm machine guns, for 9 pipe anti submarine bombers, Saab Elma, or Saab 601, 2 Falako jamming launchers with 4 magazines, each with 36 grenades with heat traps and dipole reflectors. Rev Navigation Radar, Terma, Mine Search Hull Sonar TSM 2022, Electronic Warfare System, Matilda, Electro Optical Direction Finder 9LM 100, Mine Search System 9MJ 400. Two remotely controlled vehicles, Sea Eagle or Double Eagle, and two sand trawl boats. Crew 29 people. And I would like to talk about how minesweepers work. Trawls are considered the main means for destroying mines. They are usually towed behind the stern of special ships, minesweepers. Trawls can also be towed by helicopters. The process of destroying minerals with trawls is called trawling. It is a rather complex type of combat activity of the fleet and is extremely dangerous for personnel, since minesweepers always go ahead and take the first blows inflicted by the enemy from the air and from under the water. The displacement of minesweepers ranges from 25 to 1500 tons, the speed is from 6 to 35 knots. Trawls are classified according to the method of movement, towed and drifting according to the number of minesweepers towing the trawl into double and single according to the effect on the mine, towing and undercutting for tactical purposes, for searchers, thinners, and destroyers. The division of trawls according to the first two features does not require explanation. Towing trawls are called those that, when capturing a mine, drag it along with them. Undercutting trawls break the minrep either with special underwater cartridges or with cutters, fig. 15. A slashed mine floats to the surface of the water and is then destroyed. In towing trawls, the trawling part, which is a steel cable 100 to 200 m long, has several strong steel crampons mounted. When the mine sweeping unit meets the minrep of the mine, it hits the cat and is captured by it. With the further movement of the mine sweeper, the anchor of the mine is separated from the ground and the trawl tows the mine. To get rid of a minesweeper, the minesweeper retreats to a shallow place where the mine floats up. Don't forget to subscribe and like.